Murray started in Pedigree Dogs in 1953. He has had more than 100 champion English, Irish and foreign champions under the Blackdale affix. Most of these were terriers. He has, however, successfully bred many other breeds across gun dogs, hounds and toys. He began judging in 1961 and became an all-breeds judge in 1971. He now judges all breeds, all groups and best in show throughout the world. He is also an FCI approved all breeds judge. Please give a very warm welcome to Harry O'Donoghue. And now without further ado, let's have in our best of breed winners, starting with the Airedale Terrier. The Bedlington Terrier. The Border Terrier. Terrier and the Smooth Fox Terrier, the Irish Terrier, the Manchester Terrier, and the Norfolk Terrier, the Norwich Terrier, and the Parson Russell Terrier. By the Scottish Terrier, the Celium Terrier, the Sky Terrier, and the Soft Coat and Wheat Terrier, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, followed by the West Highland White Terrier. familiar with this group invariably comment on the distinctive terrier personality. These are feisty, energetic dogs whose sizes range from fairly small, as in the Norfolk, Cairn or West Highland White Terrier, to the Grand Airedale Terrier. Their ancestors, of course, were bred to hunt and kill vermin. First for assessment is the Airedale Terrier. 1850. This is a bitch. She was awarded Best of Breed by Mr. Rodney Easel from an entry of 34. The Airedale is also known as the King of Terriers. He is the largest of all the terrier breeds and encompasses all the characteristics of this group of dogs. He is a native of Great Britain from the county of Yorkshire and it is reputed that the Airedale Show gave the breed its name. The Airedale Terrier 1850. Bedlington Terriers drew an entry of 12 for their judge, Mr. Alan Small. His best of breed winner was this bitch, number 1897. It is claimed that the Bedlington can boast a longer traceable pedigree than any other terrier. Hailing from the former mining areas of the north of England, he was once known as the Rothbury Terrier. His fame spread outside his native region and an association was started for the breed in 1877. Bedlington Terrier 1897. This is Kay Irving, Judge Ward's Terriers today, and for an entry of 120, she gave best of breed to this dog, number 1951. The Border was once known as the Reedwater or the Cockerdale Terrier after the localities of his early days. His present name was adopted around 1880, probably because he was worked with the Board of Fox Hills. But it was more than 40 years before the breed was recognised by the Kennel Club in 1920.
the Terrier 1951. for Alan Small. Alan already best to breed to this bitch, number 2023. The first time a dog of this breed was exhibited was in 1909. Three years later, the cairn was recognised by the Kennel Club with challenge certificates on offer. Yet in spite of this comparatively recent emergence and show ring, dogs of the cairn type can be traced back for some 500 years. Terrier 2023. Smooth Fox Terriers were judged today by Tom Johnston. For an entry of 26, he awarded best of breed to this male, number 2037. The 
Terrier. Two, one, one, five. Norwich Terriers were also judged by Jeff Gorish today. Jeff had an entry of 21 and awarded the top spot in the breed to this dog, 2145. <laughs> Norwich Terriers were accepted on the Kennel Club Breed Register in 1932, at which time they were known as the Drop Eared Norwich Terrier, now known as the Norfolk Terrier. Prickeared Norwich Terrier. Both the Norwich and the Norfolk were shown together as one breed, the Norwich Terrier, until 1964. The Norwich Terrier, 2145. We have the Parson Russell Terrier, 2184, a bitch, who was awarded Best of Breed by David Shields for an entry of 41. For many years, great controversy has existed in the ranks of the Terrier fanciers over a type of Terrier called the Jack Russell. The Kennel Club became involved in this affair as a result of applications from a considerable number of devotees of the strain of Fox Terrier bred by the Victorian hunting parson, the Reverend John Russell. Yeah, go ahead. The Parson Russell Terrier, 2184. Second. There was an entry of nine Scottish Terriers from Patricia Hill. And she awarded Best of Breed to this bitch, 2196. The Scottish Terrier Club was formed by Captain Gordon Murray in 1882, a year after the first standard for the breed was drawn up, and just three years after the breed as we know it today came into existence. Murray was strongly supported by the founder and first chairman of the UK Kennel Club. Also, Judge Celium Terrace today, and he found his best of breed winner in this dog, number 2199. There was an entry of 20. About 150 years ago, a certain Captain John Owen Tucker Edwards, who lived at Celium, Pembrokeshire, South Wales, decided to promote his idea of the perfect terrier. From a mix of the Welsh Corgi, the Dandy Dinmont, the West Highland White, the Bull Terrier, and the Wire Fox Terrier, among others, he produced the dog that was to become the Celium which the breed today descends. The Celium Terrier 2199. Sky Terriers were judged by Brenda Banbury attract an entry of 50. Brenda awarded best of breed to this dog, number 2223. The Sky was once known as the Terrier of the Western Isles, evolving into what we now call the Sky Terrier, with a mix of breeds behind him, including Cairn Terrier prototypes. One of the most famed of the breed, of course, was Greyfriars Bobby, who in Edinburgh around 1858 took up a vigil at his master's grave in Greyfriars Churchyard until he too died. The Sky Terrier 2223. This is the 
soft-coated Wheaton Terrier best breed. It's a dog, number 2250. They were judged today by Carol Barnes Davies, who attracted entry of 54. As one would expect from his Irish origin, the soft-coated Wheaton Terrier has a happy-go-lucky outlook. Extrovert and exuberant, he thrives on human companionship, loves children, and is willing to go anywhere and anytime. There was an entry of 108 Staffordshire Bull Terriers for Judge Bill McKnight. And Bill found his top dog in this male, number 2375. One of the most popular of all the Terriers, Staffordshire is renowned for his courage. He's descended from a cross between the Bulldog and a Terrier, and thus combines the temperaments of the two breeds.
Fox Terrier 2037, Tom Johnson's choice for best three today. Terrier Breeders Group to go to Ring 3, please. That's the Terrier Breeders Group to Ring 3. 